Okay, everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be going to the next step of our computer vision project. We have here our uh, computer vision window that we implemented last time. And this window is essentially giving us our screen capture and our frames per second. I'm getting around 30 frames per second, pretty low, but that's because I'm also streaming, so you should be getting a lot better performance than I am. And what we can do is, uh, you know, we can see that our computer is properly capturing our, our input correctly. So that looks good. I'm going to move this over to the side just because I don't want to get dizzy while I'm trying to do this. And we can run around and we can see we've got our computer vision updating. That's looking good. Now today what we're going to be focusing on is this health bar. So I've got this health bar here and uh, what that is is that's a slice out of this image. So it's kind of like the computer's laser focus on our health bar. So you can see here when I put my mouse over the health bar that's going to update and give us those pixels. That's looking good. And if we take damage that's obviously going to drop just like our real health bar on the screen. So I'll throw myself and take some damage. And there you go, I took some damage. And I can heal myself. And uh, you can see the incoming health just like on our health bar. And uh, we can use this to uh, calculate our health. So first we'll implement this visual representation so that the computer can see our health bar just like we do. So stick around and let's do this. Okay, well if you're liking this content, if you're interested in it, please consider liking and subscribing. I would really appreciate it. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create another image inside of our object here. We're going to call this image underscore health. And keep in mind everything that we're about to do, you could do the exact same thing for mana bar, for any other resource, for different games, for different things. This principle could apply to lots of stuff. So, but we're just going to do the health bar now as kind of an example. So just keep that in mind. Keep the gears turning in your head on how else we could use this. So we've got our uh, health image, uh, our, our image health. So we're going to treat this as like a sub image of this image. And we're going to calculate that, create that um, in our capture screen function. So we've got this initialized as a none type right now. And when we get into our screen capture section here and we've, we've, we've captured our um, initial screen image, this is where we're going to want to create that sub image, if you will, that slice of that image. So we're going to say self dot image underscore health equals self dot image. And this is where we can take a, um, a NumPy slice. So I'm just going to um, add a enter key to make this a little more clear. So this is all this is all inside of these brackets, but I'm just going to open this up just so it's a little easier to see. And what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, self dot top left, which we haven't defined yet. We will in a moment. One, two, self dot bottom right one, comma, and then we're going to do self dot top left zero self dot bottom right zero okay so what this is going to do is this is going to give us a slice of this numpy array and we can specify from like x equals zero to x equals ten or y equals zero to y equals ten or whatever so what we're going to do is we're going to define this as basically two points on a rectangle since we're going to be outputting a square image. We're going to put the top left corner of that rectangle and the bottom right corner of that rectangle. And this is this doesn't exist yet, but we need to add this. So we're going to create self dot top left and we're going to put in a uh, the coordinates and on, and on my screen it's I'm just going to hard code it. So this is what I've got from doing a screen ca capture and checking where that health bar is. Yours might be different, so you're going to want to check that. Now, hard coding, it's probably not the best way to do it because it's not flexible. Um, what we can look at in another future tutorial is adding a little subroutine that lets us click on the screen if we want to calibrate where something is. But for today, we're just going to keep this tutorial a little bit shorter. So we're going to hard code it in, but keep that in mind that you could add a subroutine and, and click on the mouse. So it could say click top left, click bottom right and then you could pull in these numbers and calibrate it yourself. That way you wouldn't have to hard code it in and it could be flexible for different monitors. But for today, let's just hard code it in. 
So we've got our top left, bottom right hand corner. So again, what's going to happen here is that it's going to take this image and it's going to slice, it's going to take a slice. So it's going to start at the top left at 514 and go to 635. And it's going to take another slice here from, uh, oh sorry, this is supposed to be 771. So it's going to take a slice from 771 down to 788. So we're going to pass in those values like this. And that, uh, that's going to create that slice image. Now what we need to do is, down where we have our computer vision section, this is where we're actually uh, displaying the computer vision part. We want to create another window. And we're going to call this health bar. And we're going to put in our self.image underscore health. And if we run this, we can hit run to start the program. And you can see now I have two windows. I have a computer vision window, which, which looks good. This is my uh, overall screen capture. And now I have this little subroutine, which is somewhere down in here in my case. Now this could be whatever coordinates you put in. If you put in the top left-hand corner, it's going to show the top left-hand corner. So let me do this so you can see that. So you see how that's changing up there? So very cool. So now we have a way to focus in on this uh, image. So I think this that's enough for today's tutorial. We'll keep it very short. In the next tutorial, we'll be looking at how to use the data in this little sub-image here to calculate what is our estimated health. Okay, so if you enjoy this content, again, please consider liking and subscribing to the videos. I really appreciate that. And I'll see you in, hopefully in the next tutorial. Thanks and have a great day.